Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. Today's video, I want to focus on the Spike Prime or Spike Essentials Kit. Yeah, I don't want to get that mixed up with Spike Prime. It's just funny that they both call it Spike, but this is going to be the Spike Essentials Kit. Now, some of you might be wondering, hey, are you going to compare it to the Spike Prime? Not necessarily directly connected. I'm going to give you a few of my opinions on the differences between the two. But today's video, I just want to focus on what's inside this kit and why, and why I think it's a really good kit for, you know, your students, your, your sons, your daughters, you know, your grandsons. This is a really good kit and I'm going to let you know why. No, Lego Robotics. Okay, before I go on any further, no, I'm not getting any kickback from Lego. You guys know I've been doing Lego videos for like eight, nine years now, and I get absolutely nothing from them. I mean, you know, it's a really cool robotics kit, but don't think this is any way, you know, slighted to get something from this. This is just my honest opinion. And just because I love robotics and I love students, you know, to be able to learn, uh, robotics with this kit. I'm just going to let you know right up, up front that, you know, I'm getting nothing from this. This is just my opinion, just being in robotics this long. Okay, so there we go. Spike Essential. Um, it says six plus. Yeah, I, I think I would go with that. I, I agree with that, you know, age appropriateness. 449 pieces. So let's go ahead and dive into the kit. Let's see what's inside. Okay, so I have already attached the stickers onto the trays. And then what I really like is the stickers to help organize this, especially if you have a classroom set. So, okay, here's what the first thing I really love about this kit is everything is color coordinated. It just used to drive me crazy when my students with the Spike Prime kit would just dump and toss their pieces anywhere. Here, they should be able to see the color coding and be able to put pieces back according to that color. Now, you know, granted, they're going to have to be the ones to do that. But what I really like is that when it comes down to just putting the pieces back, it should be very easy to sort these by color. So now let's go ahead and you know, just give you a look around as far as the pieces go. And then we're gonna dive underneath this kit to see what else is inside here. Okay, so let's go looking underneath this kit. Okay, so we're gonna have USB cable for sure to be able to connect this to a device uh, for the programming going to have a color sensor there. We're going to have a three by three light matrix sensor there. We're going to have two motors here. Okay. Now compared to the spike prime, these are definitely smaller, uh, but still have a pretty good amount of power. Here's going to be the hub. Well, this is the battery. There's going to be your hub here. So the hub has its own built-in gyro sensor, okay, which I really like. And then obviously the things that are too big to put in the trays, you have two base plates there. You have more base plates, wheels, it's gonna come with two wheels. And just again, more pieces that, I think we could fit those green pieces into the trays. Uh, but there you go. That's what's involved here in the Spike Essentials Kit. Okay, so before I go, let me go ahead and just show you one of the projects uh, that you can do with your students called the River Ferry.
All right, let's go ahead and talk about why Spike Essential Kit is a great kit for an elementary age student. I teach K to five here at my school. I teach STEM and robotics as a part of my STEM curriculum. And so what's really nice is I'm able to use this kit with all the grades. It's just really nice for Lego education to be able to section off the grade levels and be able to just increase the difficulty and challenges the higher up in grades you go. They basically take the lessons and differentiate them for the different grade levels. So if I want to do this kit with kindergarten and first, it has the simpler lessons for them. And if I want to use fifth, then they're going to increase the difficulty, the challenges and make it, you know, age appropriate. So that's what I love that I don't need different kits for different grade levels. Another thing I like about this kit is I'm able to use this again with also different ability levels. You know, if I can have a class of let's say third grade and I have some that are struggling with concepts, I can use the lower level lessons. And if I have some really top notch students, I can now use the higher level challenges for the students that, you know, can you know, see the themselves going further with their lessons. So it's very versatile with age levels and ability levels. Okay guys, so hopefully I've given you, you know, just a quick insight into the Spike Essential Kit. If you check the description, I will leave you the link for getting this kit and also the Spike Prime Kit. Now you guys, uh, for those of you that are interested in Spike Prime, um, I've used the Spike Prime Kit with my second graders. So it's definitely something that you can use. I just think they were overwhelmed with all of the sensors because Spike Prime is going to have the built-in gyro. It's going to have the color sensor. It's going to have uh, a touch sensor. And so, you know, if you're teaching lower grade level, Spike Prime is probably going to be a little... And you can always choose what you cover. Um, but what I like about the Spike Essential Kit is it's very basic to the point where you can branch out farther rather than reeling in, you know, from the Spike Prime. But again, they're both really good kits, both kits that you can modify for different age levels. Um, but for me, I really like the Spike Essential and I think I would do a better job with this than I would the Spike Prime Kit. So. Thank you guys um, for joining me and um, watching this video on the Spike Prime Essential or Spike Essential. Sorry, I get those two mixed up so much. Um, and I'll let you kind of figure out what your needs are and who this kit's going to be for. Uh, but thank you so much. I am Mr. Hino from Miss Hino's Lego Robotics. I am out. He's out. He's out. We got this. We got this. We got this, guys. Hey guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay guys, take care.